good morning to one and all in today's in the previous lecture we discuss about the concept of relative frequency to define the probability now we move on to the axioms of probability so axiom means the rule or your principle so here we can see that the each possible outcome of an experiment is associated with a point that is called as your sample point and it is denoted by small s and when the all the collection samples collection of sample point is called as your sample space that is denoted by capital s so here we can say your both elementary event that is small s and your sure event that is capital s is known as event so basically the elementary events that occur only one time while your sure event that have all the possible outcomes of the experiment that surely occur or we can say that the sure events are combination of number of elementary elements beside the element now beside the element we can see that the sure even even there is an impossible event that is also called as your null event denoted by null set phi now with the help of an example we can easily understand if we throw a dice so how many possible outcomes we will be having six only that is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now we will be assigning the each corresponding to that we will be assigning the sample point to each six outcomes now we can represent it in a form of 1d sample space for example for 1d we will be assigning a single line and we can assign all our six sample points on a one dimensional sample space s next on the concept of event that is your event statement if we see here if we take for example we take if an event of six shows that is your sample point is denoted by six so if we talk about the even number of dots then we can represent it as 2 4 and 6 and these are known as your subsets so the probability system consists basically of three points that is your 2 4 and 6 now coming on to now coming on to the axioms probability now summarizing all the axioms probability we can say first point that the sample space capital s of all the outcomes are known as your elementary elements second a class of events that is denoted by e are the subset of your sample space for example if we talk about the even number of dots so for even number of dots your subset will be 2 4 and 6 clear now coming on to the third point that is the probability of each even a in the class e so the probability that is denoted by p a has the following properties number 1 if your ps is equals to means the probability of the sure event is equals to 1 then you can say that your limit n tends to infinity ratio of n i upon n is equals to 1 that means the sure event of head occur in all the trials will be equals to 1 only second if your probability pa is greater than equals to 0 and less than equals to 1 then the probability of an event is a non negative number that is less than or equals to unity if we talk about that n tends to infinity then we can say that your n upon n should be less than equals to 0 and greater than equals to 1 clear now if we take an example of tossing a coin including head a and tail b as which of they are mutually exclusive events then we can denote it as p a union b is equals to your p a plus p b now if we talk about n number of trials so we can say that your event a occurs at n trials and your event b occurs at n b trials then your a union b that is the union of events occur in na plus nb trials 
as A and B can never occur on the same trial. So when they won't occur on the same trial, so we can say your Na plus Nb is equals to Na plus Nb. If we divide it with, with total number of trials, total number of experiment and outcomes, random experiment, then we can say your N A union B upon N is equals to Na upon N plus Nb upon N. So if we suppose that your random experiment repeat n times and n times to infinity then your p a union b is equals to t a plus p b clear now next we'll discuss the relationship between the sample space events and probability so as we know that the sample space consists of all the possible sample points so let us consider over here we have six pos six possible events clear that we throw our tries we were having six possible outcomes over there now here we can see your one dot that is your s1 dot shows correspond to only one of the event sample point s1 and it is called as your elementary event also there is an event that corresponding to large number of subset that is denoted by b clear so this dot consists of your even number of even number of dots so it is denoted by s2 s4 and s6 similarly we will consider for the odd number of events it will be s3 and s5 clear so for example we can say that your sample space s is mapped to an event that is your event a b and c using your random experiment then the value will be assigned between 0 and 1 so the values are not unique to be to the event similarly we can say about your mutually exclusive events may be assigned same probability means if we assign same probability in the mutually exclusive we can say your p a is equals to pb is equals to 1 by 2 that will be that the pa union v that is the sure event will always be unity so this was all about your exams probability in the next lecture we'll discuss about the random variables thank you